Welcome to Killer PHP. This is Steph Mischuk. And in this video tutorial, we're going to cover one of the fundamental constructs in the PHP language, something called a loop. Loops are basically tools in, in PHP that allows you to loop through things, it allows you to do repetitive tasks. Typically, you will use loops to do things like process records in a database or maybe loop to loop through an array for instance like so many other things in php i believe that once you see the code and you actually write the code you're going to find using loops pretty easy so i've launched dreamweaver my php text editor for this series of videos and uh, I started off by creating a variable, and you're going to see why I've done this. So let's actually create our first loop. This, of course, is the while loop, and uh, use the keyword while. And I assume that you've done the, um, the conditional video tutorial where we looked at if statements because it's, uh, the while loop is very similar to the if statement in one way where the while loop works by checking to see whether or not the value held in between the brackets here is true. And if it is true, this gets run. And as long as this value here turns out to be true in between the brackets, and we're going to put a value in there in a second, this gets run over and over and over and over again, thus the loop. So let's, uh, let's create a little counter. And uh, we'll do that by using this variable. So I gave the variable an initial value of one. While this is equal to and less than, say, 10, we're going to tell it to, uh, let's say, echo out. Now here's a, a new operator I want to introduce you to, the double plus plus sign. And that operator is called the increment operator. And I'll explain to you what it does in about two seconds here. So let me just start from the top. So this while loop basically works like an if statement where this code here, anything in between the, uh, the while loop opening and closing curly brackets will get processed if whatever is in between these two brackets is true. So as, lo as long as the variable count is greater than, excuse me, is less than or equal to 10, this will get run. So what we're doing, uh, and so what we're doing, we're just echoing out the text hello to the page. And we're doing something very interesting here that I haven't shown you guys before. This double plus symbol is the increment operator. So what basically this does, this is a, a shortcut way of saying increase the value of the variable count by one. And that's what this does. So, uh, so the theory is, I should get rid of this maybe. The theory is, that every time this loop runs, this variable value will be increased by one. So it'll start off being equal to one, then two, and three, and four. And once it hits a 10, the loop will stop because it will have reached this condition would have become false after 10, right? As long as it's equal to or less than 10. So actually when it hits 11, rather, it will stop processing. So let's run this code and see what happens. So I popped open Firefox, and as you can see, the word hello has been printed to the page uh, 10 times. So let's go back to our code and make a couple little changes, and we'll uh, look at some interesting behavior. So for instance, uh, so we hello, dot, dot, dot. So let's change that like so. Give it a space, and then we're going to use a concatenation operator, the little plus sign. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually print the value of count as we loop through. So we should see the loop increment as we go along. We should actually see the number increase. And what I'm going to actually do as well, is I'm going to put in a HTML break so that's a little bit cleaner. So let's take a look at this in the browser again. And there we go. So as you, you see, we've created 10 hellos, and you see it's printed out the numbers. And the reason it's printed out the numbers 
is because we've actually told PHP to print out the count um, variable value to the page. So there you go. This is a basic loop. This is the while loop. There's a couple other loop types that uh, you can find in PHP. And essentially what you want to get out of this is it works like an, an if statement, a conditional statement, where as long as this value is true, this gets processed. Once this value is no longer true, it just skips that block and PHP will continue to process the code from the top down as it always does.